Today we're gonna to be preparing carrots fresh from our garden for the freezer. So today I started to pull up the rest of my carrots. I actually have um, kind of a small bed of carrots, but I have been eating them all summer. So I've really been enjoying them. They're so good and so delicious, fresh out of the garden that I was trying to decide if I should can them or if I should freeze them. And I decided today I'm gonna to be freezing these carrots and turning them into just a great dish that I'm gonna be able to have very quickly and very easily on um, some of the nights in the winter I don't feel like doing much cooking and it's gonna taste just like summer these are just so so good now I grow the smaller carrots um, some of them get a little large but for the most part I like to have them grow no larger than about four or five inches and really if I can get the two inch carrots they're really my favorites and they come out just much sweeter I think they're just really really good carrots I have several varieties that I grew this year and so um, I'm just showing you some of the carrots that I have and that I grew and we're going to be taking these over to the patio and washing them in a few minutes and then I'll show you how we do it gardener you don't always know what's going to happen <laughs> so I also when I picked my uh, carrots I also picked several bell peppers so I'm just going to pull these out because I'm going to be washing like a, a quick wash of these peppers over in the hose I like to get those kind of washed up a little bit before I get going with the carrots and then I also picked two bags of these European plums. A few of them I'm going to keep, but most of these are going to my daughter-in-law and her mother. They love them. And so let me go to start working on the carrots. So I got a lot of the dirt off with the first washing. I'm going to wash them real good with a scrub brush as soon as I get in the kitchen, but I wanted to get the, the dirt off of them. So I've washed, cleaned, peeled, and cut my carrots, and this is what I came up with. I have this whole big bowl of carrots. Now, in my family, it's just me that eats this kind of stuff. My husband kind of has his own diet he follows. Mmm, they're so good. So I have been eating these carrots out of the garden all summer long, and the rest of them, I want to freeze for a later date because I still have some canned carrots from last summer. And the only thing I really use those for, I don't really eat canned carrots. I like them in a souffle. So I think one day I'll make one of my carrot souffles for you and you can see just how good they come out and they are delicious. You can have them for breakfast or dinner or what have you. They're very good. But today we're just gonna freeze our carrots so as soon as this water comes up to a boil, I'm going to bring it up to a boil. I'm going to blanch my carrots. And all blanching means is that you're going to boil them for a few minutes and then put them in an ice bath to cool them down so they don't continue to cook. And we're just going to go ahead and blanch these carrots. What freezing does to your vegetables if you don't blanch them is that it changes the cell structure and your food becomes mushy when you take it out. It becomes freezer burn. Oftentimes it loses its color. And so blanching solves a lot of that problem. Now, even blanched vegetables, you really shouldn't keep them in your freezer more than six to nine months. Some things you can push to a year. And I use a food saver to really maximize the amount of time that I can keep them in the freezer. 
And what I do is I add a little bit of onion soup mix into my bag of carrots. And this, when I'm ready to go ahead and cook my carrots at a later date, I just put them in some water or the microwave or what have you, and it just gives them a whole nother flavor. Now, a lot of people use the Lipton on onion soups. I'm, I'm not a proponent of anything that I am trying to, you know, steer you to at all. But the one thing I like about these ones that I get at Aldi, it's a chef's covered onion soup mix. It doesn't have any MSG. Now for me, I'm allergic to MSG and nitrites. It gives me an instant migraine. So I have to be really careful. And a lot of Aldi's products don't have it in them. A lot of their salad dressings. Now these are the things that Aldi makes. Not They do carry other brands that are not Aldi products. And there may be some things that those products have MSG in them. But what I found overall is that it's kind of safe, MSG safe and Aldi for me. So let me get this water up to a boil and I'll show you how we do it. Are you enjoying this video today? If so, will you give me a like or a thumbs up or share this video with someone you think might be enjoying it as well? I'm going to try to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And at the end of the year, if I hit my 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a brand new Presto canner to uh, one lucky subscriber. So if you're interested in, you know, being part of that drawing, please subscribe today. Send me an email to homesteadpatch63 at gmail.com. And I will go ahead and put you in the drawing. And if I can hit 10,000 subscribers, we all win. All right, so I've got my carrots, um, my water up to a boil. So all I'm gonna do is add my carrots. Now, I just wanna blanch these for three to five minutes. I need them to, I need the water to come back up to a boil after adding all these carrots. So that'll take a couple minutes. And I think what I'm gonna to do to help it along is add a cover to it so it gets hotter quicker. I've been eating fresh carrots all summer long. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just get the rest of these frozen up and just be able to enjoy them for the rest of the year. Now carrots are one of those things, if you don't have a garden or you don't have room to grow or what have you, Carrots are very inexpensive when you buy them fresh in the grocery section of your store. And you can buy some carrots, do the same exact process other than growing them and still have available nice, you know, freezer fresh carrots to have, you know, at any time. And a lot of these things I do because I have my garden, I have my fruit trees, I have an herb garden. So all these things I have on hand, and I try to preserve them the best that I can for the year. It just saves me a lot of money and time, and especially in the winter as it starts cool down and I'm getting ready for Christmas or Christmas is over, what have you. Um, I have lots of things prepared that are just easy to take out and fix for one person. Okay, our carrots have been boiling for three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in an ice water bath. Some nice cold water will stop the cooking process. It's a very easy process, just takes a few minutes. It's actually a lot faster and easier, in my opinion, than canning, but you know, canning has its advantages as well. It's just, I think it kind of, you lose a lot of the flavor when you can your carrots. It sometimes even makes them bitter. So, I, like I said, I like to use the canned carrots to make a carrot souffle. It's really easy and all you do is drain the water off your canned carrots and and then you make use those just like you would, you know, pumpkin or whatever and you just make your souffle that way. So after I've drained them in a colander, the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is put them on a towel or paper towels and I just want them to dry out a little bit more before I get them into packages. All right, it's time to package up our carrots. I've already written on the bag, you know, the date and what they are. So 
So I'm gonna be putting in about a cup of carrots into each one of these. So this is about how much I would eat if I'm having a serving at dinner. I'm gonna put in about just a little less than a tablespoon. I'm actually gonna put these in and then put the, the seasoning on it. Oh, it smells so good. I love onion soup. I put it in all kinds of good stuff. All right, just stick it in there. And then I'm gonna pre-measure all these just to make sure I'm not stuck with a tablespoon that I <laughs> need to freeze. So let me go ahead and just get a cup of carrots in each one of these bags and then I'll show you uh, how they come out and I'll stick them in the freezer. Easy peasy. Okay, I've got all the bags sealed or uh, filled up and I was able to get about six bags of carrots from these as well as eating fresh throughout the whole year. Now I try to get them nice and flat. I just feel like they freeze a little bit better. So let me show it to you as soon as I get them put through the food, uh, the food saver. So there you go. All of my carrots are vacuum sealed and they look absolutely delicious. And uh, they're gonna be a great additional source of dinners throughout the year. Now I could grow a lot more carrots if I want, but to be honest with you, I have so many vegetables that I eat fresh, frozen, and canned throughout the year that I try to do a little bit of each. It just works really good for me. So I can prepare these carrots a couple ways. The usual way that I do it after I've had them frozen in the freezer is that I just cut the top off of these. Now these have all been vacuum sealed, so they don't have any air in them and they're not gonna get any freezer burn. They're gonna look just like this when I take them out. So I'm gonna put them in about a quarter of a cup of water inside of a just a small pan. I'm gonna let them come to a boil. It's already got the seasoning and the flavor inside of it. And then I am gonna serve that with whatever it is that I'm having for my dinner. It works really good with meatloaf or chicken or almost anything. You can have wonderful carrots with your meal. So if anybody ever tells you that gardening isn't worth it, that preserving food isn't worth it, it takes too much time, you gotta deal with bugs and pests and animals, and yes, all that is true. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm telling you, it saves me so much on my grocery bill and everything that I have is organic. I'm not buying organic from the store. I'm growing it in my backyard. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give preserving and freezing and maybe some gardening a try. It's a lot of fun and it's really healthy for you. And believe me, when you've gone to all this work and you've you know, made something that tastes so good, you're gonna eat more vegetables. So thank you again for watching. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a like, a thumbs up, or ring the bell for future notifications. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.